Hello friends, today we will be doing some sample questions for uh, SASMO exam, which is Singapore and Asian School Math Olympiad. Uh, these are open-ended four-point questions. So let's just do some of them. Uh, let's read the question. In the following, all the different letters stand for different digits. So C-O-R-O-R-R-E-E-F. So we have to really find what uh, digit stands for, which alphabet stands for, which digit. Now, if you look at maths, how many digits do we have? We have these 10 digits and all the numbers that we make are actually formed from these 10 digits. Now, if you look at this, these are called as cryptograms. And if you if you look at them, uh, you know, you will see that this C has nothing here. And so basically C plus something is RE. So now there's nothing here. So that means there is a carryover because the maximum digit or uh, the maximum value of C can be nine. So that means there is a carryover of something. And that's why this is uh, RE. So there is a carryover. Now let's look at some uh, calculations. Now, now if you look at these digits, if you see nine plus eight, you get a 17. If you do 7 plus 8, you get a 15. Suppose you do 5 plus 6, you get an 11. Now, what is the common thing that if you see in all of them, that you take any of the digits, the, the digit at the tens place will always be a 1. So, uh, from this, can we say that R is actually 1? Now, once we start with this, that if R is equal to 1, so this R and this R will also be 1 and 1 and therefore f will be equal to 2. Okay, now we know that there has to be a carryover. Now again, if these two 0, like O and O could be any digit, even if you take maximum of 9 plus 9, you will get an 18. So there will be a carryover of 1 here. Correct? So there will be a carryover of 1. That is something that we know. Now we have to see 0 plus 0. Now, uh, sorry, O plus Oh, now, what are the digits that we can put in here, which gives me a carryover of 1? So now, uh, let's start with a 5. So if you do a 5 plus 5, okay, if you do a 5 plus 5, you get a 0 and you do a 1 carryover. And uh, so we get it like this and you take the value of C as 9 because I need a 0 here as the value of E. So if I take 5 plus 5, this is 1 and 1. <clears throat> I get this as 2. 5 plus 5 will give me a 10 and plus a carryover of 1. The value of C will be a 9 because I need 0. I need 10 here. So there has to be the value of digit C. The value of alphabet C will be a 9. So what is this number? REF. This number is 1002. And the value of these alphabets are C is equal to 9. O is equal to 5. And E is equal to zero. So that is something uh, that is how we need to attempt these questions. The basic starting point is that we need to know if there is a, uh, you know, the digit, the hundred place digit, and if we, if there is any other digit here, and if there is a, a carry over. So whenever two digits, if we add, the carry over will always be uh, one. It cannot be any other number. Okay. Now let's read question number two. There are 8,000 and chickens all together in a barn. The total number of legs of all the cows and chickens is 26. How many chickens are there in the barn? <clears throat> so if we look at cows and we look at chickens, correct? So how many legs do a cow have? A cow has four legs and a chicken has two legs. So let's just keep adding them. We get four plus two as six. Then again, 4 plus 2 as 6. We get 4 plus 2 as 6. Okay, now if you add them together, 6 plus 6 plus 6. So total, we have till now 18 legs. And we have 3,003 chickens. Okay, now if I do one more, 4 plus 2. So 6 this. So I'll get six more, right? But then in this case, if I do this combination, then I'll have 24 total legs and 
four cows and four chickens. But then that's not the case because they're saying the total number of legs are 26. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to I'll have to uh, remove one chicken from here because I need four legs. So I'll add one cow here. So the total number of cows legs will be 20 and chickens will be uh, 3. So the total here will become 18 plus 8 is 26. So they are asking how many chickens are there. So there are uh, 3 chickens and if they ask you how many cows, so there will be 5 cows. This is the way to do these kind of questions. Now let's read question number 3. I am a 3 digit even number. All my digits are different. The digit in my hundreds place is the greatest one digit number and the digit in my tens and ones place add up to 15. What number am I? So whenever they are talking about a three digit number, let's say hundreds, tens and ones. And it's an even number. All my digits are different. Now the digit in my hundreds place is the greatest one digit number. So the greatest one digit number is nine. And the digit in my tens place add up to 15. So tens and ones please add up to 15. Now what combination of digits that we have? See, these are the possible digits. You cannot have a 9 because 9 is already taken. So out of these digits, what combination will give me a 15? So there is only 7 plus 8 which will give me a 15. Now, can I write as 978? No. I, uh, sorry, you can write this. Can I write this as 987? I cannot write it because they're saying it's an even number. So the number that I will write it is 978. So let's just check once again. All the conditions are met. I am a three-digit even number. So this is an even number. All my digits are different. The digit at my hundreds place is one or greatest one-digit number, correct? The digit in my tens and ones place add up to 50. So the number is 978. Let's read question number four. Find the number A such that the following statement is true. Now, if you see this, this is, uh, you have to do it through board mass or we can use the distributive property of multiplication. So what does that mean? 13 is common from both sides. So from on both of them, so you will take 13 out. So what remains is three plus five. So this is 13, 3 plus 5 is 8. So this is 13 into 8. So this is A into 8. So what is the value of A? Value of A is 30. That's how we do these questions. Thank you for watching my video. Do leave a comment or do leave uh, do let me know if there's any question that you want me to solve. Thank you for watching.